Well, hello YouTube for the third time again. So, I'm quite bored today and told him to go to my cousin, so I decided to throw off my original Game Boy games and Game Boy Color. So, here it is. I have Tetris, which I love it. It's addictive to play on the crapper. I have to admit that. I have Pokemon Red. Too bad battery doesn't work. Pokemon Blue. Look, you can hear the battery loose inside. Pokemon Silver, I got a new copy with the box. I got a new boxed copy. For $5, I paid this. The best finds of the summer I ever got. My all-time favorite game, I got it again. I can't wait to full silver. Pokemon Gold, which is my very first game. Hamtaro, Hamams Unite. This was the first ever game I ever got. Can I just say the first ever game I ever got with my Game Boy Advance? Oh yeah, and also Pokemon Yellow, which I'm at, currently playing in Vermilion City at LT Surge. Faceball 2000. This is like um, pretty innovative for time because you can you could link up up to 16 people at the same time. Which is kind of cool back then, like 16 people on a game, one Game Boy. So man, this is kind of cool. Yeah, it was actually, it actually uh, origins on a PC called Midi, Midi Maze. Zelda Link's Awakening DX. I haven't got through it yet, very fun. The label kind of looks like um, Link to the Past. Pokemon Trading Card Game. I love it's fun when you're like you know, into the cards and you're kinda of bored to decide to play it a bit. And um I still have the pro my dad bought a box through me off eBay when I was eight. I'm at fourteen now, I got it in two thousand and three. I got I still have the promo card the meow with it. Wario Land Free. Uh it's a really good really good puzzle platformer. I love it very much. Addictive to play. It's, I'm gonna buy Wario Land 1 because my video, local video Tron had it. Like, uh, Microplay, they still, they still sell Game Boy Color stuff. So I, just, I can buy myself one. Um, I have Super Mario Land 2. I beat the whole game. Um, it's a very fun, uh, fun, uh, six, really fun Mario game. I also have Dr. Mario, another addictive puzzle game to play on the crapper. Uh, puzzle games are always meant to be played there. It's amazing, it's really fun. Even when you play, you know, when you're bored, you're like, I'm bored sometimes. So, yeah. Mega Man, Dr. O Dr. Wily's Revenge. Basically, the only 8 bit Mega Man game I own. My dad, uh, my dad doesn't want me to have an NES because it takes too much space in the house. But he, he still lets me buy Game Boy games. He let, he actually loves my original Game Boy I got. He'd still let me buy Game Boy games because they don't take much space. But him, he'd rather get me um, you know, more CDs than uh, NES, which I'd like better to get more CDs. Because I love music. I'm a music buff. Well, Harry Potter, a really f fun and easy RPG. I'm a fan of the books, the movies, the games. Addictive RPG, very very addictive. Fun, but but Chamber of Secrets is better. Game and Watch Gallery One. These are fun to pass the time when you're like you know on a car trip to Florida. I live in Quebec. I live in Quebec, so I play this while going to Florida, which actually pass the time a lot. Tarzan. You, you're thinking this is a licensed game and it's crap. It's a really fun platformer. It's fun like crazy. I, I just play it just jumping for bananas. It's fun. It's fun. That's all I have to say. Spider- oh, oh, yes. Spider-Man. Another fun game which is really, it's really good. I have the PS1 version of it. Final Fantasy Legend 2, and did you know that uh, Pokemon was originally designed to be like, you know, the Final Fantasy battling system in 
Like, it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one battling system. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about ripping one, but it was originally going to be the battle system. Um, Donkey Kong Country. Um, so yeah, Donkey Kong Country, it's, it's like, no, it's like, yeah, they took an any uh, Super Nintendo game and made it, like, more 8-bit. 8-bit shell shaded, which was kind of cool. Game & Watch Gallery 2. Another fun game to play while you're on the road. And yes, Frogger. We bought this because I'm a arcade game guy. Wait, I have more games in here. Sorry, I have more games in here. I have more games in here. I'm an, I'm an arcade fan. So, yeah. Yeah. I have uh, Zelda Oracle of Seasons, which I got like, kind of foreign. Fun. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. My friend had two copies, so he gave me one. And I still haven't beat level 8 2. It's kind of hard for me. Alleyway. Um, it's another fun game to play while you're on the road and stuff. I got the last Game Boy Color ever made, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. My friend, he recommended me to get this, in which I got the Game Boy Color version. And it's really fun for the last Game Boy Color game. I hope the last DS game will be as fun as this. I am my Game Boy original. I have an original one. My dad loves it, because um, it's transparent. It's cool. It's my friend loves it. My dad... He wouldn't mind buying another Game Boy because you cause don't take much space up. Then I have a Game Boy Color, which is my brother's. It's purple, not blue, because on the camera it looks blue, but it's purple in real life. What else do I have? Oh yeah, I also have a Game Shark, which wants to erase my yellow version. I was kind of pissed. So, so yeah. So well, uh, bye now. It's all my game with color games. For now, I'm back.